hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer like this using adobe photoshop without any further ado let's get started all right here i'm going to use a five paper size so as you can see over here then i'm going to my text document to copy the hence code that is for the color then over here is the color code and ctrl plus c to copy go to your solid color then i'm paste ctrl plus v to paste then go to your resource file and i'm going to import this image over here then i'm going to scale it out Okay, now go to your filter, then select blur, Gaussian blur. Over here, I'm going to make use of 9.2, then click OK to apply it. Then I'm going to bring in my church logo. reduce the size then our position is over here select your test tool then copy the name of the church then ctrl plus v to paste and over here i'm going to reduce the character space to zero percent Then I'm going to alight it all. Ctrl plus A to alight. Apply vertical alignment. Then Ctrl plus D to deselect. And I'm going to reduce the size. Something like this is okay. Then reduce this one. Use your arrow key then to move it up a little. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate this one. Why I will bring it down. Select your test tool. Ctrl plus A to alight it. Then I'm going to copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to increase the character spacing. something like this is okay all right then use your arrow key to bring this one down then ctrl plus zero to fit it to page so now i can see the outcome of it now then i'm going to increase it Then zoom in. Why I'll bring this one over here. Then I'm going to select this one. Ctrl plus A to select all. Then apply vertical alignment. Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then use your arrow key then to bring the logo backward. It's okay. So now I'm going to bring this image over here. Then drag it. And I'll position it around the ear. It's okay. The quality of the image is not good enough. So, but this is for the tutorial purpose. So, if you are working on for a client, especially if the work is for printing, ensure that the quality of the image is very okay. Now. Then I'm going to image adjustment and brightness. Then I'm going to increase the brightness a little and the constraint. I'm going to increase it like this. Then OK. Then apply your layer mask. Then go to your gradient tool. Then to blend 
over here then it's okay something like this all right so now we are done with this one so the next thing i'm going to do now then i'm going to my test document and i'm going to copy these ones here control plus c to copy then select your test tool then on this one i'm going to use a mock-up then this is the golden test in fact i'm going to use so what i will do now i'm going to double click on this one then click it alight it then i'm going to replace it then highlight it ctrl plus a then ctrl plus b to paste your test and over here i'm going to select the think this is the font i'm going to use i'm going to copy the font here then go to fonts then ctrl plus v to paste okay then i'm going to close this one then apply yes to save it now i'm going to turn of the background then and the test here i'm going to turn it off okay so what will remain now is this and what i will do now hold your shift key plus ctrl plus alt key then you press e now you create a layer for it over here so instead of us to go to long way and export it, then what we do is just to grade the layer. Then I will now export it or drag it over here. Then I will position it around here and increase it. Then I'm going to take this image up. Okay then also drag the test up then reduce the size of it okay then i'm going to select my rent angle tool then i'll draw a rent angle over here then select a test tool Now I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy, then Ctrl plus V to paste. And I'm going to change the font to red. Increase the size. Then, and I will move it over here. Then reduce the rent angle. Now, then I'm going back to my test documents to copy worship. Then Ctrl plus C to copy. Then go back to your test inferts and I'm going to delete this layer here. Then double click to open the smart object. Now, double click here to alight and over here I'm going to change the font here I think the font I use here is Zurich I'm going to copy it then go to font then ctrl plus v to paste and the one I use here I think this is let me check so I want to know the exact font I use here. So it should be either this one. So Ctrl plus V to paste. I'm sorry for that. I copy another thing. So I'm going to copy it back again. Ctrl plus C to copy, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now then I'm going to close this one then apply yes to save it so 
so you can see it right here so what i'm going to do now then i'm going to create a layer then hold your shift plus ctrl plus alt key then you press e to create a layer now i'm going to drag this one to my design and i will position it over here now i'm going to increase the test something like this is okay then use your arrow key then to arrange it so it's okay like this then i'm going to select this test over here then I'm, we change the font so to zoom rich I'm going to make use of this one over here so now increase the font size then over here now then I'm going to import this light here then reduce the size I'll position it at the top here then change it to screen then control plus J to duplicate it now position this one over here so for now so what i will do then i'm going to group it together the control plus g to group and here i'm going to rename it as my test okay so then the next thing i'm going to draw a rent angle then I'm going to make use of this red color for my background then over here I'm going to copy this one select your test tool then change the font to white and the size of the font i'm going to increase it then ctrl plus v to paste and now we change the font to this one then reduce the font size Okay, so I'm going to increase the rent angle size by dragging it a little bit down here. Then select the rent angle and the test. Then apply vertical and horizontal alignment to fit it in. Okay, so having done this one now, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to my background. I will select the background over here. Then go back to your background then i'm going to my resource file and i'm going to bring this one then drag it down now go to your filter select blow gaussian blow then i'm going to Blow this one by 24.9 then click ok and apply your layer mask select your gradient tool and blend the top here it's ok then go back to your resource file and over here and i'm going to import this image here 
then I will drag it up and I'll position it around here then increase it that is increase the size then I'm going to drag this one somewhere like this okay now I'm going to apply my layer mask select your gradient to then apply my blending to the top here and the bottom over here something like this okay then change the blending mode to overlay so you will have something like this all right then i will go back to my resource file again where i'm going to import these ones you are seeing over here then i'm going to position this one around here Take it up. Okay. Now rasterize it. Then go to your property. And I'm going to remove the background. Okay. So let it be above the image of the pastor here. Then come down here. And over here, I'm going to import this trumpet over here. Reduce the size. Then I'm going to rotate it diagonal this way. Then I'll position it somewhere here. I will reduce the size a little. okay then this one i'm going to reduce it somehow like this okay so what i will do now i was i'm going to convert this one to smart object then control plus j to duplicate it now select this one then apply vertical flip that is to flip it vertical and i'm going to drag this one down this way it's okay then apply your layer mask select your gradient tool and blend it And the opacity, I'm going to reduce the opacity to 60%. Something like this is okay. Then select your mask. I'm going to blend it a little. It's okay like this. All right, so you have something like this over there now. Then if you want, then you can also increase it a little, then drag it down. It's okay like this. Then my test, I'm going to use my arrow key then to move it up. Then this light, I will also move it up and I will increase the size of the light then. Then drag this one in and take the light above the test. Okay. Alright, so now I'm going to group these ones together. Control plus G to group. So this is the our drum. Okay, so the next thing to do now 
I'm going to select this one and the rent angle. Then reduce the size. It's okay like this. And over here, I'm going to bring this icon. Reduce the size. Come back to your test document. And I'm going to copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then for your icon, hold your control key, then you press U. Then drag this one to the white area to change the cover ground color to white. Now select your test tool. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then select this one. Then apply superscript. Click OK. Then I'm going to increase the size of the, the dates. Okay, so that I can see it how it's going to come out. Reduce it a little. Now, then I'm going to copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select the test to Ctrl plus V to paste. And reduce the font size. Duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J to duplicate, bring it down, select your test tool, then highlight it, copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy, then Ctrl plus V to paste, then I'm going to increase the character spacing, something like this. Okay, then I'm going to copy this one. Then why I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then drag this one over here. And over here I'm going to import this icon for time reduce the size ctrl plus u for hues and saturation then drag this one over here to change the background color to white then select your test to to align this one then ctrl plus v to paste and I'm going to reduce the font size. Alright. So the next thing now, then I'm going back to my resource file, then to import this icon. Reduce the font, I mean the size. Ctrl plus U for U and saturation, then change the background to white, bring it down, then come over here and copy your location, then select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste, reduce the size. Position it over here. Then come over here. Then to open the space. Alright. Then go to your rent angle. Then, and I'm going back to my background. 
then draw a rent angle over here then leave the background color white then you will have something like this so then for my time and date i'm going back to there then i will select it all then ctrl plus g to group it highlight it then apply vertical alignment to centralize it then ctrl plus d to deselect so here you can see the outcome now i'm going to group this one together so this is the location then use your arrow key then to move it up this way and over here this is for time and this is for dates So this is for the heading and you group the background group this one and this is for our image okay so as you can see now we are done with the tutorial already so that is the end of this tutorial thank you so much for following please if you like this video don't forget share it give it a thumbs up and um, like subscribe to my channel then so that you get notified for more videos thank you so much for following Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share.